For me personally, solar electricity produced by photovoltaics has an absolutely central role to play in future. I personally believe that about 20 to 30 percent of the world's electricity will be produced by photovoltaics by 2050. In fact, photovoltaics is one of the very few sustainable forms of electricity generation that can be used also in a decentralized way. Silicon is a key material for photovoltaics. Unlike many other materials used presently for solar cells, Silicon is both abandoned and non-toxic. That is why we are pretty sure that it has a great role to play in future. Now we should distinguish, talking about silicon solar cells, between wafer-based, crystalline silicon solar cells and thin film silicon solar cells. The wafer-based crystalline silicon solar cells have attained very high efficiencies of over 20% but they need a tremendous amount of production energy, which takes several years to recoup from the solar insulation. This is why we are presently studying intensively thin film silicon solar cells, where the energy investment is much lower. For wafer-braised crystalline silicon, I recall that there was a major breakthrough in the mid-80s, when all of a sudden three groups in the world, a Belgium group, a, an American group and an Australian group increased the efficiencies of these solar cells by a few percent in one go and brought them up to values that were above what was then thought to be the theoretical limit, up to almost 23%. Well, we've had a similar breakthrough recently in thin film silicon solar cells, where several groups, Japanese, American and European groups, brought up the efficiency for whole large area modules to 10%. This was announced at the recent EU conference in Valencia in September of this year.